Welcome back. Next, we visit Cape Town and Addis Ababa to learn about the responsible business initiatives of the Carson Residor Hotel Group, which include providing jobs and training to vulnerable youth and an extensive employee-driven commitment to greener hotels. But first, we meet with the UNDP's Thomas Salez to talk about the hospitality industry and its role in creating jobs in Africa. There is this tendency of looking at Africa just as a destination where the resources are. If you really had to think about what the local communities can provide in terms of service, solutions, experience, you will be able to reduce your costs, will be able to introduce some innovative taste solutions that will help you. The tourism and travel industry is actually one that provides opportunities for the local producers, for the local transporters. They are the providers of the food, uh, the service. So it's really one of those with two generous, very powerful sectors for inclusive business. You know, alongside agriculture, food, retailing, the travel and tourism is one of the most promising for inclusive business. They will in create income opportunities, they create jobs, uh, and uh, you know, in doing so, they will benefit the local communities. The Carson Residor Hotel Group operates more than 1,000 hotels in 100 countries and is now the fastest developing group for top hotels in sub-Saharan Africa, where 14 hotels are in operation and 19 are soon to be added to its portfolio. Tourism provides a significant number of jobs at various levels and develops skills that can be used across a variety of industry sectors. According to a report by the World Tourism and Travel Council, the industry will soon represent one in every 10 jobs worldwide. In many locations in Africa, we are the first international hotel company to arrive. We focus on inclusive business through employment and people development where we try to get involved in a very early stage to bring in our best practices which we have learned from the hundreds of hotels which we have opened in the past. I think foremost um, it is the creation of jobs. Like I said, we have about 5,000 people working for us. And secondly, it is really the, the training uh, the development of our people. With over 90 million people, Ethiopia is the second most populous country in Africa, with over half its population between the ages of 15 and 24 years old. These youth are eager to enter the job market, but employment opportunities are often in short supply. Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, is also known as the political capital of Africa. It is the host city for the African Union and recently also the United Nations Development Programme. Consequently, business travel in the city is thriving. I have one brother and three sisters. My father is dead in 12 years ago and um, only support my brother for my family. My, when I graduated uh, grade 12 um, and I didn't pass the exam, the ECLS, and I'm so confused because I'm poor, so I can't to learn any school. The Youth Career Initiative is a six-month education program for disadvantaged young people. It provides them with work and life skills and prepares them for further education or a job. Each student receives over 750 hours of on-the-job learning and classroom training. The YCI program was defined by the hospitality industry and it runs in 11 countries. The Radisson Blue Hotel Addis Ababa currently has over 300 staff, of which 98% are Ethiopians. We coordinated with the SOS Children's Village in Ethiopia, who have worked with YCI for many years. The Children's Village proposed 18 suitable candidates, from which we chose six. The training I received, the, the food and beverage, housekeeping, front office, Banquet. I know many skills like how to make different kinds of food and uh, how to communicate with the others and also how to uh, teamwork, uh, timekeeping and it's so nice for me because it's challenging for me. The trainees are assigned to different departments within the hotel uh, for their practical training and they're rotated regularly between departments throughout the six months. Currently we have given opportunities for two of the six trainees. 
to be employed in our team. We invested on them. All the family members of Radisson Blue Hotel enjoyed this and I'm very happy. And now they are doing a very good job. And it has also a good message for all the staffs, even for the society, for the medias. We have been evaluating on a continuous basis. I am sure they are fit, all of them, to get employed. Before, um, I haven't any choice and uh, I didn't feel good. And now I hope I'm professional because I'm so changed. I like the old departments, uh, but I choose the kitchen. I like create new recipe always. So I hope I am the main chef. When taking into account the high youth unemployment, the increasing supply of hotels, and the shortage of trained Ethiopian hoteliers, the hospitality in Ethiopia in general gains excellence and badly needed uh, hospitality professionals. Whilst the individual has a great opportunity to start out upon a very rewarding career. On average, 73% of graduates get a job upon graduation and 12% pursue further education. With Carlson Residor as one of its main partners, the YCI is expanding rapidly to many additional countries. In collaboration with the South African government, the Park Inn by Radisson Hotel on Cape Town's foreshore has launched two programs with similar objectives. Three trainees of the network's learnership, which started two years ago, now have permanent contracts in the food and drink department. And the newly introduced Cat Sita is offering professional on-the-job training in the hotel to 20 local learners. And we've got a very young team, um, especially the executive team, they're very young. And I think that brings across in a vibrant, friendly atmosphere within the hotel as well for the guests and, of course, for all the staff members alike. I don't think I could have been anywhere without the Katsita program. It's not all that easy to get a job once you have a qualification without the experience. So this is just, again, a stepping stone for me. So the Katsita program is a 12-month program and the HODs are responsible for training the employees or the students on the job. Um, they give them weekly tasks in the specific area, housekeeping, food and drink, or front office. And then once every quarter, we send a report back to Cathedra on the progress. We got the induction training, the Yasakian training, and the responsible business, and how to be a host. They learned me to calm down with the nervousness and just to do my best that I can. I was a wild guy, not respecting the law and things like that. Given the opportunity by Cat Sita, it was showed me more how to respect myself more, how to respect the law and respect other people's cultural differences and their beliefs and how they live their life and interact with each other. Responsible business in Carlson Residor is unique because it's driven by our people. All our staff know about responsible business, they carry it in their hearts and they practice it in their day-to-day -day jobs. The Carlson Residor Hotel Group has been listed on Ethisphere's ranking of the world's most ethical companies for four consecutive years. Many of our hotels are located in cities or in beautiful natural surroundings, and hotels can have quite an important environmental footprint. So it's important to reduce that environmental footprint to care about air quality, mobility, and preserving the natural surroundings of the hotel, and not just for us as a business, but also for the guests who stay with us. Think Planet aims to save 25% of the group's energy consumption in just five years. The Radisson Blue Waterfront Cape Town exceeded this in one year and saved 28% on their energy consumption in 2012. There was a number of uh, activities we put in place. Uh, bigger activities like implementing a new cooling tower, uh, but all smaller ones, yeah, like having an alarm on the walk-in fridges in the kitchen, changing about 1,600 light bulbs. What do we do? We save from what we have. So for us, we save through heaters, because whenever guests want to sit outside, we turn them on, and as soon as they leave, we have to turn them off with the light. We all think the same thing, we all want to achieve the same target, hence why we made such a big saving last year. Uh, we share the figures every month with the staff, what our assumption per room is, per area is basically. Uh, we also involve them in decision making. 
with a committee where they can come with their um, ideas, they monitor the equipment and then they need to come to me and tell me, listen, yeah, this piece of equipment is consuming a bit more than what it should, we should look into it. So I give them that ownership and that responsibility and by doing that they become more proactive and I start learning the good habits basically. I heard about Think Planet when I got here and it was actually exciting because they never tell you about these things. So going through Think Planet, we've learned that if you don't have a trolley, you take the staircase. If you don't use the room, put off the lights, put off the aircon. And for us, it saves more money for the company and it helps us a lot in saving even personal life. Every month we had like a competition in the department, for instance, a fourth floor supervisor and star, Alan would come down and he'll come check how many lights did you put off, how many aircons did you put off, and at the end of the day, we went running for a goal. Everybody goes through classroom training uh, on responsible business, and also we feature videos, training videos on Think Planet to give little hints and tips for the staff how to get more efficient and energy saving. When Think Planet was launched initially, it was announced at the first price for the hotel achieving the greatest saving will be a bicycle for every employee. Thank you to all our contributors. Join us next month on Tuesday the 12th of November when we visit Nigeria to look at the inclusive business initiatives of two large multinationals. But for now, thanks for watching.